Well, the last time I saw you, you hadn't actually kicked off Dreamgirls yet. Yeah. It was about to start. Yes. Uh, it wasn't as hot as this. <laughs> I don't really trust London when, when it's like this. It's really hot. It really is hot. And you're talking to a California girl, and if I'm saying it's hot, it's pretty hot. Oh, I love that. I love that. Representing. So our lovely Jennifer Hudson's been in town recently. Mm -hmm. Have you been out to see her? Too? She actually came. Um, Jennifer Hudson came and saw the show, and um, it was her first time seeing it in as a musical. And her son came, and he had never seen it before. Not even the movie. She said. So it was just amazing to have her there and have her support. And she came back and saw all of us and, you know, encouraged all of us and said how much she loved it. So that was great. Be honest with me, were you nervous? No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I do it every single night, you know, and um, I'm, I'm jittery every single night because it's a new audience, but I do what I do and I love it. She won an Oscar for that. So yeah. yeah. You're pretty good doing that in front of her. So what's London been like? How are you coping living with here? Are you going to go back? Um, I'm definitely going back. <laughs> You want to go back? America, yeah, that's my home. Um, but I, I mean, I love it here. I love the people here. Everyone um, in the theater community has been so welcoming to me, and they've been so so sweet. And having a newcomer come, comer come, and I'm here at the Olivier's, which is insane. Um, nominated, which is insane. Um, but yeah, I'm just. I feel really blessed to be here. So when you grew up, did you know about the Olivier Awards? Did you always watch them, or did you not? No, I didn't. I didn't know about the uh, Olivier Awards until I got a lot older. Um, but yeah, to be here, it's like. Like, surreal. And if you win, what kind of face are you gonna do, and how? Like, who are you gonna thank? I don't know. I can't even think about it. I can't. I can't even. I'm still like, kind of tripping out that I'm singing here. It's one of the most amazing, beautiful places that I've ever seen in my entire life. So. <laughs> oh, I love that. So whilst you're in London, have you done the? kind of classic London things. Have you had fish and chips, pie and mash? Have you been at the apple and pears? <laughs> Not apple and pears, no. But I, I have had uh, bangers and mash. Yes. And uh, fish and chips, of course. And I've done like the London, the Tower of London tour and it's not my first time in London, but yeah, I've done a couple of touristy things. But how do you cope with everyone, all the fame and people stopping you in the street, or does it not kind of happen so much? You just take a picture and keep going. Oh, really? Yeah. You don't mind a good old selfie then? Nah. And tell me, what would you absolutely love to do? What else is there to achieve for you? Oh my God, this is so new to me. I don't know. I'm not sure. You've been in some of the best things that I've been <laughs> the last 10 years. So yes. where can you go from here? I mean, I did Glee and didn't know if I was ever going to be able to do anything as amazing as that. And then now I'm doing Dream girls which I never thought was ever going to happen so who knows what's in store next. Any of the London based Glee lot being able to see you? Yeah, uh, yes Chris has seen it, um, Ashley has seen it, the rest of them are trying to make their way over here. Oh I love it thank you so much. Thank Good you. Good luck tonight I hope you'll see you in the winner's room. Thank you. <laughs> Hi. Oh my god! Sorry. Hey! Zane's got a, a, a great voice. Hi. I'll just leave it at that. I've wanted to meet you. Uh, yeah, we haven't met each other yet. Got some lipstick on your teeth.